Okay, I'm um, about to go into the gym after being fucking bedridden for about three days. I'm just going to go and do a light virus. I'm obviously not contagious anymore after 48 hours. Um, but I just had a thought. I got a question on my Snapchat the last day. And it's made me think for the last couple of days. Um, just when I get sick and when I feel a bit run down, I tend to get a little bit reflective in my thought. Um, and it was a question of what advice would you give to your younger self? And my answer at the time, and I suppose it still is my answer, is. Uh, you know, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. You know, I did a video on this recently um, that you can't let people tell you you can't do something. But I'm just going to expand on that a little bit now just because I know myself and everybody has doubts and, and those feelings of am I enough? Am I able to? Who am I to do this? Um, and I'm the first to admit, you know, as soon as I get run down and get sick, you have you walk around kind of like with Superman syndrome thinking that you can do it all and you can be the best dad and you can run a good business you can do all of these things and then as soon as you get knocked you start to question that um, and you get these doubts on you know can you really do the massive things you want to do um, and now I'm starting to come out of it a small bit again I'm just going to do a quick video because again I don't know I'm just talking at the at the camera now but you know maybe it will resonate with a couple of people because I get that that impenetrable bulletproof persona that people give off that they're like nothing can touch them the reality is everybody has those doubts everybody has those fears you know um, when you're setting your targets massive and setting your whatever it is that you're trying to achieve and it's huge it's fucking scary you know and as soon as you're not feeling right or not feeling well it can get on top of you and it can seem like too much where you're just like you want the fucking world to swallow you up and I get that you know and it's it's something that you think that you, you think that the people that are at the very very top or the people that are doing great things don't have this you know the reality is they do it doesn't matter who you are um every person has this you know it's 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 all subjective success and all of these things are all subjective anyways you know what means something to somebody one person means nothing to somebody else you know a nice car big house um beautiful family loads of money that's subjective success to one person you know for somebody else it's just to to be able to come home and put their kids to bed every day that's success to them you know my whole meaning for success has changed you know the day holly was born you know and and as that developed and and as she got older those that that the whole terms of success for me changed you know so you got to find out what's your version of success what does it look like for you you know and then you got to start working towards it it doesn't matter you're going to get those fears you're going to get those doubts because everybody has that you know i put up a post today talking about my trip in barcelona four years ago how thoughts this is the biggest thing i have when thoughts become things we know for a fact as human beings that thoughts influence actions we know that the things we put into our head are going to be the actions that we put out you know every action has an equal and opposite reaction you know if you if you're thinking something that is going to inevitably lead to the, lead to the things that you do so you need to be putting those positive thoughts into your head you know even now the last couple of days when my brain was starting to to play tricks on me telling me I couldn't do things and you can't do this and it's too big you gotta fucking reaffirm it you gotta surround yourself with either the people that are going to re-bolster that up or support networks or visualization techniques like I have my whiteboards because I'm like okay it's visual I can fucking see it because that's how my brain works I can see it it's literally there it just hasn't fucking happened yet the only thing is that reality and my vision haven't caught up yet they're not in sync with one another but they will be you know it's one of those things that doesn't matter where you're going to have that to go in after the success whatever your version of success is you know you got to set those targets and you got to be able to push past those doubts and push past those fears and be safe in the knowledge that everybody has it thoughts influence actions what you think about most of the time is the person you're going to become so make sure that you're feeding your your mind with positive things you know don't let your worst fucking enemy, enemy be in between your two ears because you're going to have enough people telling you in life you can't do something don't be your own worst enemy you know don't let those fears fears are a self-created illusion anyways you've created them a fear is a, is um 
is a thought of something that may or may not happen. You know, fear isn't even in the present. It's something in the future. So you can control that because the reality is it hasn't even come yet. You know, so you're letting that manifest manifest into something bigger and, and giving yourself a story that you, why you can't do something when the reality is you can go after whatever the fuck you want to go after. You can get whatever you want to get and you're going to have those doubts and you're going to have those fears, but you just got to overcome them and use the things that help you to support you on the way. Um, remember, thoughts influence th thoughts influence actions thoughts become things you know think about what you want to be what's your version of success and then go for it